Six two inch dowels. Check. One package Phillips head screws. Check. You guys, seriously, I grew up on a farm. Okay, I rebuilt a tractor engine when I was like 12. I think I can put together a cheap Swedish media center. No, oh, please, we insist. It's the least we can do, considering. We're considering what? How great this place looks? <laughs> oh boy, I was afraid of this. What? These instructions are a pictographic representation of the least imaginative way to assemble these components. This right here is why Sweden has no space program. Well, it, it looks pretty good in the store. Uh, it is an inefficient design. For example, Penny has a flat screen TV, which means all, all the space behind it is wasted. We could put our stereo back there. And control it out. Run an infrared repeater, photocell here, emitter here, easy peasy. Good point. How are you going to cool it? Hey, guys, I got this. Yeah, hang on, Penny. How about fans here and here? Also inefficient and might be loud. How about liquid cool? Maybe a little aquarium pump here. Run some quarter inch PVC. Guys, this is actually really simple. <laughs> Hold on, honey. Men at work. <laughs> the PVC comes down here. Maybe a little corrugated sheet metal as a radiator here. Uh, really, show me where we put a drip tray, a sluice, and an overflow reservoir. Hey, if water's involved, we're gonna have to ground the crap out of the thing. Guys, it's hot in here. I think I'll just take off all my clothes. Oh, I've got it. What about if we replace panels A, B, and F and crossbar H with aircraft-grade aluminum? Oh, right, then the entire thing's one big heat sink. Perfect. Leonard, why don't you and Sheldon go down to the junkyard and pick up about six square meters of scrap aluminum. Raj and I will run down to my lab and get the oxyacetylene torch. Meet back here in an hour? Done. Got it. Okay, this place does look pretty good.